Hey y'all, welcome back to the DIY Entrepreneur's Reaction Show. I'm so glad you decided to tune in. We're going to be looking at another Shark Tank pitch, but before we do, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are not um, already subscribed. I would really appreciate it. Let's check this pitch out. Okay. Hi, Hi Shark. <laughs> my name is Lisa Nguyen, and this is my honey, Luke Nguyen. This is our daughter, Kaya, and her sweet friend, Audrey. We are from Huntington Beach, California, and we're here seeking $100,000 for 15% equity in our company. Sharks, if you have kids like us, then you know one of the biggest challenges of keeping up with their wardrobe is that they are constantly growing. You find that perfect pair of shoes, they wear it out once or twice, and then just like that, boom! They've already outgrown them. So we thought, what if we could invent one shoe that could be styled with every single outfit in the wardrobe? Sharks, that's exactly what we did. Introducing Bubbles and Soles. Our patent-pending interchangeable shoes allow your little one to customize that perfect pair. Whether it's adorable piggies for play dates, <laughs> or pom-poms for that perfect party. With Bobbles and Souls, one shoe equals endless possibilities. Our functional and fashionable shoes are machine washable, slip resistant, totally recyclable, and best of all, they're made right here in America. So Sharks, who's ready to go from playground to party with us? <laughs> Thank you. We have some stylish samples for you in cool. which Kaya and Audrey will help us. High five, high five, high five, high five, high five. Yay! Yay. You missed two. <laughs> Good work, Audrey. Thank you so much. Oh, so cute. So Duke is actually going to show you how to use this. So it looks like three you, fingers inside. you guys heard or saw people that uh, wear Crocs and they have the Croc charms and, and stuff like that. So it looks like something like that. But I saw a slip-on shoe, something like a I, dress shoe. As a support. And with the other hand, you, put, you take the bubble, align it 90 degrees, and then twist clockwise. Sorry. Oh, it's clockwise. a tool. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. Push it down, and then twist anti-clockwise to take it out. Is it good to use okay. uh, yeah. anti-clockwise? Really? Got it. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye -bye. Bye. 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 How did you come up with the idea? Sure. So, like a lot of uh, businesses owned by mom, it was inspired by my first daughter. When Kaya was 10 months old, she had this pair of shoe that somebody had given her and it had a red heart on it. And I knew I didn't want to buy more shoes because she was going to outgrow that in two to three months. And so I thought, gosh, I, I wish I could just take out that red heart. So we went on a journey to make it happen. We obsessed, studied, we found a mold maker to make the shoes for us, the tooling. And how many different items do you have to attach to the shoe? Yeah, so right now we have about 20. What does one package cost for the base shoes? It costs us with the packaging about $11. We sell them retail for $49.95. Wow. And wholesale, right. $25. How much are they individually to buy a package of the characters? So $12.95 to $16.95, depending what they are. So what is your background, both so of you? I'm from, I was born in Montreal, Canada. C'est un honneur pour moi d'être ici, à Shark Tank. So I came here when I was 20 years old to pursue my film degree. Um, 10 years ago, I founded my company. What um, is your company? company was a wedding video production. Lisa, what's your background? My mother and I left Vietnam on a fishing boat. Um, we ended up in a refugee camp for three years. We were one of the lucky few, you know, I mean, 25% of people who did this died at sea. Then we resettled to Australia, where I grew up, and hence the accent. In Australia, I, I got into law school. I worked in, in banking and finance for a short while, and then just realized, you know, life has to be more extraordinary than this. Yeah, no, right. So um, I gave that all up, and I went to the Philippines to volunteer um, to do pro bono legal work. So we helped uh, refugees like us. Wow. Then was um, offered after a year uh, a full-time job as the executive director of the nonprofit. So I moved to Washington, D.C., and that's how I came to America. We've had a lot of people who uh, went through tough situations. I don't think we've ever heard of somebody a refugee, that yeah. went to a refugee camp and lived mm -hmm. there. 
It's yeah. an amazing story. So you know that she's going to be a hard worker here, right? Yes. Immigrants yes. get it done, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, what are your sales? In the last 12 months, we have made $150,000. How did you sell that? So we have our website. A lot of our business is actually wholesale and international distribution. So actually 80% of our business right now is to wholesale overseas. 80% is to wholesale. Is to wholesale. This year, we're projected to do $300,000. Yeah. And our, our projected profit is about $170,000. So guys, what are you, what are you looking for? Well, we are now, that's it interesting one because when they was giving their prices uh, they did specify a price for wholesale um, the individual shoe costs $50 the, a package of accessories costs 17 about up to $17 and then it she said uh, or they said that they do $25 for a wholesale this is for the whole shoe and that's their largest um, area where they do wholesale I thought it was going to be direct to consumer um, so I'm interested in seeing who are their buyers uh, if they're selling wholesale it's probably small boutiques and um, baby stores and things like that um, but she said they're looking to have a profit of 170k so that's pretty interesting. We are looking for a strategic partner. We see a huge opportunity here in America. So I'm, this is challenging for me because this is an inventory challenge you're going to have. Mm. You, you're going to have a Excess. nightmare with that because you have to stock up on so many sizes, so many colors, and then so many more accessories. And in my business, the thing that has killed more people than the plague has been inventory. Mm -hmm. I really love this story, but unfortunately, I'm out. Oh, David. They do so we so actually, I, he would have been a really great partner. Respect your story. I think when you come from those kind of circumstances, I mean, you, you start from the bottom. You can only go up. Um, can I just say, we only need to make 300 pairs per go. Our hold on inventory is not... So every time they injection mold, 300 pairs minimum. I have to be transparent with you. I don't love it. I, I think it's a cute product, but what really concerns me is in a year, you've really only sold $30,000 through your website. You've got to grow that market, and so I, I'm out, because I think the market's not talking to me through those sales. But we, maybe, maybe the market's no talking to one of the other sharks. We've done absolutely no advertising. But at least yeah. that's the challenge, again. right? I'm kind of confused. I almost want to rewind. He said 30K for their website. Me understanding their website, I thought that was the direct to consumer part. Um, and so I thought I heard her say something about their sales are going to reach up to 300K and then they're going to profit off of that uh, 170K. Those are the numbers that I heard. Um, I missed the 30K from the website but if she has already said that their largest um area is wholesale and she's showing they're showing to be profitable i don't understand why they why they going out so quickly and i know we don't see all of the pitch i know it's edited but they kind of they seem to be kind of moving out pretty quickly can i add one more thing sure. for you so we have the one of the things that we're doing to grow our direct to consumer and it's something that we're still thinking about is the you know the build a bear model we have the capacity to allow our customer to build a shoe you're making my point right yeah so mm, it, what you guys have is a stuff. great product but it's not stuff. obviously different and so because of that you have to find a way to market it and you haven't found that yet and so because you're not quite sure how to market it you're searching for things that are accelerants you want to add more sizes because somebody told you you need more sizes you want to copy potentially build a bear so that when somebody comes they have more alternatives and maybe that'll get them to buy the shoes you haven't figured out the way to market it yet that's what you have to do first and foremost and so for those reasons i'm out thank you Bob. I think that just... I would like to say something here that, you know, most often in Shark Tank, people oh, like you come and stand on that carpet and ask for ridiculous valuations. 100K You have a situation where you've actually come in with a realistic valuation, just over $600,000. I think you've built $600,000 with a value. We're here for the deal. Uh, we've been offered other that investments, so, and it, we've just said no to them because we're... This is, we're here for you guys. No, she could be kind of emotional. I understand that. And I, right that's now, a everybody that's going a, This out, was a really remarkable presentation, I must say, and a good valuation. Very so good. The, the question becomes, do I want to be in the shoe business? You know, I've learned a lot about shoes on Shark Tank over a decade. I, I wish you the best, but I'm out. I just don't want to be in the shoe business. Not because you haven't done a spectacular job presenting. I'm hopeful that Lori's still here.
And she likes a lot of plastic stuff. <laughs> so, thank you, Mr. Thank Wonderful. You. This is a demonstrable product. Last month, our returning customer rate was 46%. So we know that when we get a customer, they come back, they come back for more bubbles, and they come back for... If anybody is watching and knowledgeable about why they're rolling out so fast because it's product, because it's shoes, they're going to have a lot of SKU numbers in a product, but they've done this before. So why, what, and, and she has good numbers. I'm still kind of perplexed as to why Large they not sizes. taking the opportunity. Well, that's a very good thing for you. Sitting here today, um, you really very much moved me with your life story. Often the most successful people have gone through major hardship. It gives them strength and grit and a bounce back and a drive like no other. Oh, she makes the before you say what you're going to say, she the direct to consumer market is an, is an opportunity for us to grow. No, I, I totally get that. For me, I have to weigh where do I think is a right investment at the same time against my heart. So believe me, my heart with you was so 100% in, but I do feel that this is gonna be a tough journey because of the competitive landscape and because the shoe business alone is really hard. But because we're made domestically, we do hold on to very little inventory. It's, and it's not, we can turn around that inventory very, very, very quickly. I'm sorry to say I'm out, but I will add this. When this happens, trust me, it's not the end at all. So please we're here, we're trust here for me you guys. here. Can we de-risk this deal for you? Could we de-risk well, it? I ain't never heard that. Can we de-risk it? So for $100,000, how about if we pay you that back in two years from the revenue that we make, from the profits that we make? I know this company is going to work. And I know that I'm here for, for a shop. We're, this has been our Girl. biggest dream and we're here. I would be, I would think again too. <laughs> All sharks have gone out. But Lisa is not giving up easily in no trying way. to get a deal for her interchangeable kids' shoe company, Bobbles and Souls. Can we de-risk it? Can you what? De Can I de-risk it? it? So for $100,000, how about if we pay you that back in two years from the revenue that we make, from the profits that we make? I know this company is going to work, and I know that I'm here for, for a shark. Is we're, that a way of saying she want to give a world? biggest dream, and we're here. It's just the business isn't at the point where I feel I can invest in it to get that level of return. But I think you'll figure it out. I, it, mm. I, I see you're very we're emotional here for you. about no, it. No, we're here for you. But I'm the, here to get but the, the, you're never, explain, Listen, you're not going to fail. You, you're not going to fail. I'll give you 100000 for 25%. Uh, wow. Come on, Damon. Throw it in there. i got to be in business with you. Straight deal. She gonna Damon, take it. you got a deal. Whoa. She ain't even counter. I wouldn't have either, though, given that situation. She read that right. So, 100K for 25%. He's, he's a great partner for you. Robert, you might as well Damon. be to me. Well, I'm so glad uh, she was able to make sure she get a deal. I don't want to say big, but she fought up in there, baby. She she not already st told her story about how she has moved around and has had to, you know, endure some life situations. And, baby, you could tell the way she was fighting in that tank today because she restructured her. Well, she offered to restructure her deal. And I didn't really understand what the whole de-risk and her saying that, They'll get it back in two years. I don't know if that was uh her asking for a royalty deal. Y'all help me out with that. Help the, help us understand that. But she ended up Damon just jumped right on back in and was like, "Look, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you. 100 100 k for 25 percent." Um, so I'm so glad that she was able to get that deal because she definitely fought for it. Um, so I'll be looking forward to the update as well. Um, about that partnership, but. Um, I hope that partnership proves to be very profitable uh, for her and her business and her family. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. Uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And check us out for the next pitch.